Welcome back. It's Andrew with MTG Men Singles, and we're ready to open up another Modern Horizons. Poor little corner here got damaged in shipping. Shouldn't affect anything though. So, uh, Modern Horizons staying stable at uh, 230, 240, sometimes even 250 uh, expected value or EV. Holding pretty sturdy. These gold packs. Huge fan of the set. It's going to be really good long term. A lot of investors are going to be sitting on this product. I'm going to be skipping the commons and the uh, uncommons going straight to the rares as always, guys. I'm going to get our foil rare right off the back. It's definitely not the foil rare we're looking for, but it's not bad. Yeah, I'm not sure how much more of this product's going to be hitting the market here. I'm assuming a couple more small waves are going to come here. And then probably just an upward trend from then on, guys. This set is really good. So nobody really arguing that here. Force of Virtue. Haven't been staying 100% up to date on these packs and the prices, guys. Uh, so I apologize for that. But I'll kind of give you what I know about it. I know I'm going to be sitting on this product. I'm not sure how many boxes, but I'm going to think at least a handful of cases. It's definitely the set to be sitting on. Probably won't pick mine, the ones I'm going to sit on up until hmm, maybe the end of this year. So say the Weather Light Captain. I don't want to put my money down too early and have it not get any gains. There's our first Mythic, guys. I think that's only about $10 right now. Probably about as low as it'll get. I think $10 is about as cheap as that card will ever be. And as soon as they turn off the valve of the supply of this set, that card's definitely going to be going up. There we go. I got our first land of the land cycle. It's definitely one of the better ones. We got our first non-rare foil. Meriden Besieged. I think that's only like a 50 cent card. Probably going to go up in the future. I think it's a pretty good card. It's just not that much of a demand for it yet. And there's just a very strong amount of supply right now. This whole set probably going to go crazy as soon as they turn the valve off and stop allowing product to come through. S Lightning Skelemental. Crashing Foothills been going up recently it was like a bulk rare when the set first came out now I think it's like a buck or two so it's definitely on an upward trend all right there we go our first big hit Urza definitely a great hit probably one of the best ones in the set that and the first sliver are really what you're looking for so definitely a good hit there all right our second land of the land cycle Making a good average so far, guys. This is definitely turning out to be a pretty good box so far. Uh, 50 cent rare. Getting ready and gearing up for uh, Commander 2019. Very excited for that. Can't wait. Gonna try out the decks and we'll oh, of course have it our singles on our uh, TCG player store. You can find us through the link below. Plain light and complex. Plain bound, I mean blah. Highly speculated card. Nothing's come of it yet. 
Feel bad for the people that threw money at that, especially early in the pre-sales. Future Sight, great card, been reprinted way too many times. I think it's only a 50 cent card. About halfway through this box, guys, we're still doing pretty good. Hope we can just keep up with this. Do about the same throughout this box. Another half, all right. Got the foil snow covered forest. The basic snow covered lens foil. It tends to be, I, I'm getting about maybe one or two a case. So they're pretty rare. All right, our third mythic. Decent mythic. We're doing really good so far, guys. Let's keep this trend up. We're going to have a great box here, guys. All right. You got the caused bridge from below to be banned. All right, our third land of the land cycle, the Horizon Lands. They're a very good land cycle, guaranteed to only go up in the future. As soon as they turn off the valve, I bet those go way up. All right, we got a fourth Mythic already. Decent Mythic, I think it's only worth about maybe six or seven bucks now. It's been on a downward trend, probably not going to go too much lower though. Fallen Shinobi. It's definitely been seeing some action slowly trending upwards. Alright, a fifth mythic, guys. Sort of truth and justice. Definitely a good mythic. I think that's roughly $14, $15 if I remember correctly. This has been a very good box. We got five mythics, three horizon lands. Definitely can't complain, guys. That's a great box. Plague Engineer. Good rare. A four rare was not so good, but man, okay, four Horizon Lands, five Mythics. Wow, this box is amazing right now. Keep the hits keep coming, I hope. On thin ice. I don't think we're on thin ice. We were doing very well. Force of Rage. Wind of, winds of Abandon. That card's, in my opinion, definitely going to do well in long term. Almost guaranteed to do well long term. If you have them, I highly suggest just hanging on to them for about a year or two. You'll definitely be rewarded. Alter. I think that's a $10 card. Very good, very good. Good hit. Force of Despair. Definitely a good card. They've been selling very well. Force of Vigor. It's definitely been trending upwards, guys. This is definitely a good pickup. If you haven't, if you can just pick it up in a trade or whatnot. Wouldn't go out of your way and pay too much for them, but I definitely think they're going to continue to trend upwards. Dead of Winter. Cool Talisman. Full of Talismans are always good. Definitely going to be worth like 3 or $4. Last pack, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you would. It's greatly appreciated. Our, our last pack is another spirit, which is not a very big hit. But this was a great box, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Hope to see you guys next time. You can find these singles available on my TCG Player Store. Thanks.